Hello guys, welcome to my channel and this is the second tutorial on Firebase and today we are learning about Firebase authentication setup and integration and basically we will set up react ke karenge. so let's start as you can see first we need to know like what is Firebase authentication so Firebase authentication is a feature of user authentication that is provided by Firebase as it is backend service. This is a token based authentication system that provides easy integration with most of the platform. So let's see what is the steps then we will move to practical. So first we need to create some project for Firebase, for Firebase authentication. So let's get Let's go to console. Project name Firebase one. Firebase auth. Continue. Well, yeah. It will take some time. In the my in the meanwhile, let's create one React project. Yeah. It will also take some time. So, so our project is ready. Click on continue. Yeah, basically we are integrating with Firebase. Integrating with React. So we need to select web. Firebase Auth Register App It will provide some credential So we have to set up it Yeah so. Alright, good luck And in X, can you regulate hat? It will take some time. We have to wait. As you can see, our Firebase SDK is ready for integrate. Let's wait one for for one minute.
so So as you can see, our project ready over So let's go in that project. Port. Here we need to install some packages. As you can see, first we need to install Firebase and PM package. In the main, in the main range, we will create one folder, one file for Firebase. And we will copy the entire code. So it's copied and we have to import something regarding auth. So Let's start NPM. Think and start. Yeah, it's starting. So first we need we need to remove unwanted before that let's see all the steps like Like you can see, like we are, we already created the Firebase project, and second step is we already created the project related to React, and now we third step is we have to configure the React project with Firebase, and after that fourth step is we have to create one file in our root directory name Firebase. So that we will store all the Firebase related credentials. And first, fifth step is we have to integrate with Google authentication. So let's see. So first we have to remove unwanted packages. And first we need to write some code in file basis. So no need mm. analytics in our projects so support. Yeah. Run this is done. Go here and remove unwanted code. Here we can create user.
output null and Uh, in top, we need to import some packages for Firebase. Firebase R. So, first we need to Basically, we are doing <coughs> Google Auth, no? so Google Auth provider, sign out, sign out, and sign in with prop up, sign in with pop up. On our state change, so it's done. Now, now we have to import our auth. File this, yeah, worth it. Now let's start. Here we can write if user. Mm, like here, we can set two type of route. Like if user is not authenticated, then user user getting login screen, and if user authenticated, then user can see directly dashboard. So This for the screen and this is for the login screen. Yeah. Login screen. Here we can set one login button. Sanina, a sign in whatever. All click. All have been clogging. Get remit to make one function. async function we need so const growth provider Google Auth Provider yeah. Here we are using try and cross cache block Phone.log and then
sign up with pop up auth google provider yeah perfect then cons user equal to rest of user yeah that user after getting the authentication we need to store the user user detail in set user okay so this is done and let's save and check or oh, basically we need to remove this one also yeah image no need yeah you can see login screen sign in click here uh -huh. there is some error What is it? Oh, basically, we have to enable. As you can see, continue to console. Now, our application is ready. So, now, we have to go to all product authentication. Here, we have to enable the Google Auth. As we know, like, we can apply any method for authentication, like, Google, Apple, Facebook, but you can see it's a Google. Enable it. Yeah, save. You can see Google, Google is neighbor. Google signing method. So, now try. Sign in. But maybe press. Okay. Apply any account? Yeah. As you can see, we are in dashboard still. So, here we can show some data. Like, go to app. Minimize console. If user authenticated successfully, then we can write some code like no, no, S2 user user dot display name. And yes. the string user dot email. And here we can give one button like sign up button. So on click. Log out. Log out. We need to create one function. Const sign up. We already imported the sign out. Sign it out. Yeah, it's done. So, here we need to use use state, use effect, so that once we refresh the screen, we will get proper screen. Okay, so let's use 
यूज इफेक्ट और ऑन ऑथ स्टेट चेंज और यूज इफ यूजर सेट यूजर एंड इफ नॉट सेट मेल सो आफ्टर डेट वी वी हैव टू रिटर्न नल so that it will not run continuously like as we know use effect uh, after every refresh refresh it will run so we can ignore using the turn this but fair yeah you can see all the data log out sign in can see and if we refresh it will work fine yeah you can see so thank you guys as we can see we have successfully implemented google firebase authentication with react so thank you and we will meet again in next video